Well, he was a titan in the entertainment industry, working with such greats as Al Pacino, Marlon Brando, and Kathy Bates. And now the industry is looking back on a career that spanned mm -hmm. six decades. KCAL 9 entertainment reporter Suzanne Marquez joins us now with the life and times of James Conn. Suzanne. He was such an incredible actor, oh. and one of the most recognizable and charismatic actors of his generation. Tributes have been pouring in all day and afternoon. Al Pacino calling him his fictional brother and lifelong friend. And Godfather director Francis Ford Coppola says he was his collaborator and one of the funniest people he's ever known. Flowers were placed at James Caan's star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame as fans gathered to remember him. He will be missed. He will be missed. And he was amazing actor. I have watched Misery like five times. Cause, and on The Godfather, he was another uh, amazing, he's an amazing actor. He will yeah. be missed. An unforgettable actor, known to his friends as Jimmy. He was handsome with machismo and an athlete swagger. I mean, I know perfectly well what's wrong with me. Gail, I, uh, I think I'm pregnant. <laughs> He played football at Michigan State okay. before his Emmy-nominated performance as a dying football player in the classic TV tearjerker, Brian's Song. I'm no idiot. This thing I got's bad, I know that. He also played likable tough guys. We got the boathouse, the garage, the back door. In 1996, he co-starred with then-action hero Arnold Schwarzenegger in Eraser. The former governor tweeting, James Kahn was an icon, a legend. He inspired everyone who has ever been in front of a camera. I was lucky to work with him and see his talent and his fantastic sense of humor firsthand. Keep oh. That same year, Kahn co-starred in the film Bulletproof with Adam Sandler. Adam tweeting, James Kahn loved him very much, always wanted to be like him. So happy I got to know him. Sometimes I get so worked up. Can you ever forgive me? He projected vulnerability as a tortured novelist held captive by Kathy Bates in misery. All right, uh, let's get it over with. One of his most beloved roles is one he almost turned down. Will Ferrell had to convince him to play his father in the Christmas movie, Elf. Your country ain't your blood, you remember that. I don't feel that way. I don't feel that way. Well, if you don't feel like that, why don't you just quit college and go to, go to join the army? I did. But he was best known for his role as the hot-headed heartthrob Sonny Corleone in The Godfather, which earned him an Oscar nomination. It was announced on Twitter this morning that he died last night. No cause has been given, and his family requests privacy with no further details at this time. James Kahn was 82. Back to you, Susie. All right, Suzanne, thank you so much.